As early as the Roman Empire, the use of concrete has enabled mankind to construct building of various shapes and sizes, and upon the start of industrialization. Reinforced concrete materials made the construction of high-rise building possible. So, in this video you will learn various reinforced concrete construction terminologies, types of reinforced concrete columns, beams, slabs, and wall, including kinds and types of masonry wall. And brick bonds. Reinforced concrete construction. General terminologies. 1. Cement, a combination of limestone and clay, baked and pulverized that is set to solidify when water is being applied. 2. Grout, a mixture of water and cement, used for filling in tile joints and for filling concrete cracks. 3. Mortar, a mixture of sand, water and cement, used as a bonding material for masonry works and tile works. 4. Concrete, it is a construction material, made from the of mixtures of cement, aggregates, sand and water, with the proper ratio to attain the certain compressive strength. 5. Reinforced concrete, a concrete toughened with a structural steel. 6. Concrete cover, the amount of concrete cover required to protect the steel reinforcement from fire and water. 7. Concrete spacer, a concrete block with an embedded tie wire, fastened to the steel reinforcements, to provide proper spacing from the formworks before concrete pouring, to achieve the required concrete cover. 8. Dowel bars, short steel bars that are inserted in a concrete, serving as a reinforced connector of a footing to column, column to a wall, and slab joints. 9. Vertical bars, are longitudinal reinforcement bars placed on a concrete column, to resist buckling, shrinkage and creeping. 10. Lateral ties, are bars that surrounds and keeps the vertical bars in proper place inside the column. 11. Spiral bars, are continuous lateral ties that surrounds a spiral column. 12. Bottom bars, are longitudinal bars that is subjected to a positive moment. 13. Top bars, are longitudinal bars that is subjected to a negative moment. 14. Bent bars, are bottom bars that is bent up 30 to 45 degrees at the point of inflection, extending towards the support of the adjacent span. 15. Stirrup, are vertical ties that surrounds the longitudinal reinforcing bars of a beam. 16. Main bars, are top continuous bars on a slab, that bends down at the mid-span. 17. Temperature bars, steel bars in a slab that are designed to resist shrinkage in a concrete due to a change in temperature. 18. Distribution bars, are top continuous bars on a slab, perpendicular to the end portion of the main bars. 19. Splice, lapping of vertical reinforcing bars on columns, and lapping of horizontal bars on beam and slab. 20. Tie wire, a soft steel wire, used to fasten steel bars in place. 21. Tendon, strands of steel or bar that is pre or post tensioned to pre-stress a concrete. 22. Cast in place, to form a structure in its definite position. 23. Precast, to prefabricate a structural component out from the construction site. 24. Pre-stressed. A precast concrete induced to internal stress caused by the reinforcing tendons. Kinds of splicing A. Lap, joining of two vertical bars by placing their ends side by side, at a specified length. B. Welded, joining of two vertical bars by placing their but ends together, and applying and arc welding. C. Compression joining of two vertical bars by placing their but ends together, by means of applying a mechanical fastener. D. Offset bend, a splicing in which the lower end of a joining upper vertical bar is slightly bended, in order to maintain the alignment from the existing lower vertical bar. Kinds of pre-stressed concrete Pretensioned a pre-stressed concrete by tendons anchored at an abutment on both ends and tensioned by a jack before it is being cured.
b. Post-tensioned, a pre-stressed precast concrete by applying tensile forces at the end part of the concrete. After it is being cured. c. Pre-post-tensioned, a partially pre-tensioned concrete that is subjected to post-tensioning. Parts of Reinforced Concrete Construction 1. Reinforced Concrete Column 2. Reinforced Concrete Beam 3. Reinforced Concrete Slab 4. Reinforced Concrete Wall Types of Reinforced Concrete Column 1. Tied Column a rectangular or square concrete column with a minimum of four vertical reinforcing bars at the corners with at least 12 mm diameter. Having a minimum of 10 mm diameter lateral ties, and a concrete covering of at least 38 mm. 2. Spiral column, a circular concrete column with a minimum of six vertical reinforcing bars, equidistant to each other from the center of the column. With at least 12 mm diameter and with a continuous spiral hooping of 10 mm diameter, and a concrete covering of at least 38 mm. 3. Composite column, a column using various combinations of structural steel and concrete. 4. Lally column, are fabricated hallowed steel pipes, filled in with grout or cement, and provided with flat steel plates at the top end to hold a girder or girt. Types of Reinforced Concrete Beam 1. Lintel Beam, unsupported short beam, above an opening in a wall such as door or window, to support the wall above it. 2. Corbel Beam, a very short beam supported at one end, used to support rafters or trusses. It is also used to support the unsupported length of a cantilever beam above it. 3. Cantilever Beam a slightly short beam that is only supported at one end. 4. Simple beam, a single short span beam that is supported at both ends. 5. Continuous beam, a beam with a minimum of two spans and three supporting columns. 6. Girder, a larger beam that supports several smaller beams with concentrated loads. 7. Hollow box girders, are long span beams that has a hollow core and several diaphragms at an equal interval. 8. T. Beams, a simultaneous construction of a beam and certain section of an anchored slab, a join on both sides of the upper portion of the beam. 9. Tie beams, are beams located below the natural ground level, used to connect footings and column foundations. 10. Plinth beam, a beam above the natural ground level located on the ground floor finish line. 11. Single ledge, is a pre-stressed concrete beam, having a shape of a capital letter, L, so that the ledge part can receive the ends of slabs or joists. 12. Double ledger, is a pre-stressed concrete beam, having a shape of an inverted capital letter, T, so that the beam has two ledges on both lower sides that can receive the ends of the adjacent slabs or joists. Types of Reinforced Concrete Slab 1. Flat Plate, a concrete slab reinforced in two to four ways, having a uniform thickness all throughout from column to column. Beams or girders are not provided in this type of construction. 2. Flat Slab with Drop Panels, similar construction of a flat plate. Except that there is a drop panel or an increase in thickness in the area of the slab that is directly above a column. 3. Waffle slab, the slab itself is reinforced with series of small joists on two ways simultaneously constructed with the slab. Equal to the thickness of the drop panels that are located above the columns. 4. Waffle slab and beams, it is a waffle slab that has no drop panels, but has a beam on every span of columns. 5. Flat slab and beams, it is a conventional type of slab construction, wherein the flat slab is reinforced in two ways, that is anchored to the bordering beams spanning from column to column. 6. Flat slab, beams and girders, perhaps the most common slab construction. The flat slab is reinforced in one way, perpendicular to the two supporting beams. 
in which the ends of the beams are being carried by two parallel girders that is supported by the columns from its ends. 7. Joist slab and beams, the slab is reinforced in one way, perpendicular to the series of supporting joists, in which the ends of the joists are being carried by two parallel beams that is supported by the columns from its ends. 8. Bubble deck slab, a hollow flat slab, consisting of plastic balls to minimize concrete in order to reduce the structural dead load. 9. Precast slab, a slab that is made and cured outside the construction site, wherein the concrete is being pre-stressed. Kinds of precast slabs. A. Solid flat slab, ideally used for floors that has unvarying distribution of loads. B. Hollow core slab, a pre-cast slab that reduces its internal dead load. C. Single T, a pre-cast slab with a joist underneath the middle span, resembling to a capital letter, T. D. Double T, it is a combination of two single T, butted on the edges of the slabs. Types of reinforced concrete wall. 1. Shear wall a reinforced concrete wall designed to resist lateral loads. Commonly used at the basement and in an elevator shaft. 2. Foundation wall, shear wall designed to support the superstructure or a foundation designed to support a wall that is not carried by a beam or a slab. 3. Retaining wall, a wall designed to protect the soil from erosion. 4. Masonry wall, a wall made of modular masonries of different materials, to partition a space, provide closure to a building or to enhance the aesthetic looks of the exterior or interior. Kinds of retaining wall A. Rip wrap, it is the layering of a galvanized wire mesh basket filled with stones. B. Bin wall, piling blocks of precast concrete that interconnect from one another. C. Earth tie back wall, Loading of pre-cast concrete panels, laid horizontally with their edge budding from one another, and their ends are kept in place by steel straps. D. Gravity wall, a bulk of a massive concrete wall, with the base tapering at the top, placed corroding part of the unleveled ground surface. E. Cantilever wall, a retaining wall that has an extended footing below the inner side of a ground that needs to be protected. Kinds of masonry wall. A. Economy, a brick wall of 4 inch thick is supported with pilasters at certain distances. B. Solid, two sets of parallel solid masonry stretchers, are butted with metal ties and mortar, as they overlap with one another. While having a series of headers at the base and topmost layer. C. Faced, a veneer wall, that is supported by a backing. D. Veneer, a veneer wall that is not supported by a backing. E. Composite, a veneer wall attached by metal ties to a parallel backing, that has a hollow space between them. D. Cavity, two sets of parallel solid masonry stretchers, that are butted with metal ties as they overlap with one another. Producing a hollow space between them. E. Grouted, a cavity wall, that is grouted in the void space. F. Reinforced grouted, a grouted wall, reinforced with steel bars. G. Hollow unit, overlapping hollow unit masonry are laid horizontally, and filled with mortar and cement. H. Reinforced hollow unit, a hollow unit wall, that is reinforced with steel bars. K. Panel, a non-bearing load, preformed and panelized brick, stone or masonry wall units that is ready for installation in metal panels. Types of masonry A. Rubble, any available natural stones that is not cut or dressed. B. Ashler, a block of finely cut and dressed natural stones. C. Bricks, a pre-cast clay blocks that are kiln dry at a certain required temperature. D. Concrete hollow block pre-cast concrete blocks with different shapes and sizes. Kinds of rubble arrangements. 01. Random, a course of different rubble stone sizes and shapes with no levels. 02. Coursed, a random wall, 
having an approximate level. 0 3, squared, a coursed wall of squared fragments of stone. 0 4, cyclopean, large stones of varying size and shapes, fitted together without mortar. Kinds of ashlar arrangements. 0 1, random ashlar, an ashlar course with varying levels. 0 2, coursed ashlar, an ashlar having a uniform level in every course, which is different in height level from the adjacent courses. 0 3, broken range work, a coursed ashlar having a broken course in some levels. Types of bricks according to usage. 0 1, stretcher, laid horizontally on the side, the edge is visible to the surface of the wall. 0 2, header, laid horizontally on the side, the end is visible to the surface of the wall. 0 3, rowlock, laid horizontally on the edge, the end is visible to the surface of the wall. 0 4, shinner, laid horizontally on the edge, the side is visible to the surface of the wall. 0 5, sailor, laid vertically on the end, the side is visible to the surface of the wall. 0 6, soldier, laid vertically on the end, the edge is visible to the surface of the wall. 0 7, gauge, a chipped soldier brick, used for arches. 0 8, soap, a stretcher brick horizontally divided into half at the sides. 0 9, bat, a soap brick vertically divided into half at the sides or edge. Types of brick bonds. 0 1, running, an overlapping bond of stretchers. 0 2, common, a running bond inserted with a header course every five stretcher courses. 0 3, English, an alternate course of a header and stretchers. 0 4. Flemish, an alternate laying of a header and stretcher in a course. 0 5. Stack bond, a vertical and horizontal grid pattern of bricks, placed side by side and on top of one another. 0 6. Flemish cross, an alternate Flemish and stretcher course. 0 7. Flemish diagonal, a Flemish course that forms a diamond. 08. Garden wall, a header inserted at the stretcher course every three bricks. Common parts of a hollow block. 01. Core, the open space in a hollow block, where the vertical reinforcing bars and cement is being held. 02. Web, vertical membrane that connects the two parallel face shell. 03. Face shell, the sides that constitutes the length of a concrete hollow block. For structural steel construction, watch the next video on College of Architecture channel.